Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over streams, stream controller, and stream sync. So we mentioned in the past that a stream basically right here is the object that just blindly sends out data. It just sends information out to you and it is up to a something else to get that information that's just being sent out and to do something with it, okay? So let's just create a simple stream, right? We'll create a few streams. I'm just gonna say, let's go with this one right here. So stream of integers, I'm gonna say async, remember the asterisk right there, and it's gonna yield stream.periodic. This is just something I have to remember, just stream.periodic, wait one second, and then int a, by definition, it's always gonna be a zero. Again, that's just the syntax of this, and it's gonna return a++. And it's gonna return this to the yield, and then it's gonna send it on out as a stream with that's encapsulated and that's covering over the int. So it's gonna be a stream with an int inside of it, okay? And we're gonna do this for the numbers. So we're gonna go from zero to 10 and just send it on out. And then we're gonna do this for str a string also. I'm not sure if we're gonna go through all these, but these are just things that we can do. So what I'll say is here is just the keyboard numbers themselves. I just type them all in. And then I'm gonna use random. I'm just gonna say return r, one of the characters in here, r.nextint a.length. So the length of this, just one of these characters in here, it's gonna send out individual characters in format string, but as a string, okay? And we're gonna to have to import dart async, math for the random, okay, that's all it was, and HTML. Now, when we get, okay, so right here on the HTML real quickly, I'm just gonna have buttons, so submit, add one, add two, and remove. I'm just gonna, I could have named these anything, I'm just gonna throw that out there, right there. We'll do something with that in the very, very near future right now. I'm gonna instantiate this, so I have my objects right here. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just instantiate the stream right here. So I'm just gonna say stream int a equals ints. Remember, that was down right here. So it's gonna just get this and instantiate it right now and into variable a. And then what I could do with this, a stream is, one of the difficulties I have have had and continue to have with streams is that streams more than anything else there are different ways of doing things, and it's very confusing because there's so many different ways of doing things, right? For example, if I said something like the brown table or the table is brown, it's the same idea, right? You're just getting across the idea that you got a brown table in front of you, but it's completely different, right? So the brown table isn't even a sentence. It's the brown is an adjective of table as opposed to the brown the table is brown, you're saying the Brown is the object of the sentence, is the object of the subject, right? So, sorry about the English lesson, but that's the idea. And in programming, it's really important that you get the syntax correct. But there's more than one way of doing the syntax. And that's why it's kind of one of those, well, wait a minute. Why, under what circumstances would you say the brown table versus the table is brown, right? So, you could always say, I sat on the brown table, or the table is brown, I sat on it. There, there's different ways of doing it. And that's the most confusing part of all about streams because there's so many different ways of doing that. So we have to remember that as we go forward here. All right, now I'll try to point out some of these things. There are many times when I was looking over Stack Overflow and people would say, I actually never use this type of syntax itself. I use this type of syntax. So it's kind of one of those things where at least be familiar with it, but you don't have to ask yourself, wait a minute, why did they do it this way as opposed to this way? It probably was just personal preference and just that's what they're used to. And, and that's what's very, very confusing for me. And so that's why I wanna reinforce that idea. What we could do, if we get this stream, we could do a.listen e right here. So that's gonna be an int, right? And then we're just gonna print e. And so what we can do is if we run it, it's just gonna do this and it's gonna print this out right inside here. Actually, let's do this. All right, so sorry about the error itself. That's what you basically can do with this. However, when you think of a stream, I think of, for example, you're sitting on the sidewalk and somebody is playing music, okay? They're, 
playing a guitar and you're just sitting on the street and you're listening to it. And so that's a stream, right? You get information from the person playing and the music is being sent to you. Uh, but generally speaking, with regard to computer programming, we don't directly interact with the stream, generally speaking. Why is that? Because you're limited in what you can actually do. If you're thinking about, you're sitting in there listening to music, all you can do is listen to it. We don't like that in computer programming. We like to do more than that, right? You cannot pause it, of course, unless you go up to them and ask them to pause it, but then you better give them some money, right? You can't just ask them to pause it. You can't ask them to turn up and down the volume. You can't, you, right? You can't do a lot of things. Hold on, I'm gonna be back, don't move. And then when you come back, okay, resume playing. You can't do that. But what happens if you got like a receiving device, like some type of streaming device? I don't know what it is, maybe your tablet or something like that. You get a tablet, you get the information from the musician, it goes into the tablet. Now we have a little bit more flexibility, right? I could put a pause, I can up and down the volume, I could fast forward it, I could do all that stuff, right? So that's the importance of abstraction. And that's where the stream controller comes in. So many times you'll have a stream controller because you'll want to abstract that out and instead of de dealing with the musician directly, you'll want to deal with your tablet. And it's the same concept. So instead here, let's delete this, we won't interact directly with the stream. Many times that's why you interact with the stream controller. Now the stream controller is kind of curious because you don't actually, the stream controller is not something you do a lot with the stream. It is an abstraction. I'll go over that in a little bit. I'm not sure if it's this video or the next video, but, but that's the idea. So with the stream controller, we'll go ahead and say, get this instantiate a stream controller. And then what I'm going to say is what you could do once you get the stream controller SC, I'll go over why I put dynamic right here. And you can add an event. You can close it. You can add an error, add stream. You have all these options to do it. So not just manipulate the stream in and of itself, but you can add, do these things on top of it. So again, you have your tablet, you add a stream into the tablet, and that's what the add stream actually is, okay? So I have my stream controller, I'm going to add a stream onto it. Which stream? Well, might as well do this one. Now, why couldn't I have just gone down here and just added ints, um, uh, Right, right here, call, call that, right inside of here. Well, you could have. There's no reason why you couldn't have. However, the importance about these things is that you remember for every time you instantiate, you create a different object. So if there is a reason why you wanted to directly instantiate it or you wanted to do, maybe you wanted to create um, A, B, C, all equals the same object, I'm sorry, equals the same function, but you wanted a different object altogether because you wanted to manipulate it differently, whatever you wanted to do. That's the importance. That's the difference. So you have, we have to remember that, okay? I frequently forget that and I'm like, why isn't this working? And I'm dealing with either the same object or different objects when I didn't realize that. So you always have to remember, you're creating a new object. Remember, object-oriented programming. You're creating a new object and therefore, this is the object that you're putting, this is the stream that you're putting inside of here, not not, this is not the stream, this is the stream, okay? You add that inside type at the top of there, and now I could do the exact same thing that I did before. Remember with the a dot something, uh, dot listen, right there. Instead of directly dealing with the stream, we'll use stream controller object right here, and I'll say stream controller dot stream. So, dot stream, where, where, okay, remember you just added a stream. So if you didn't add a stream and you said sc dot stream, you wouldn't have a stream to listen to and so it would be dead code basically. It would just be sitting there. It would be listening, it would be taking up memory, but it wouldn't be doing anything. So now that you added the stream, you, you sc dot stream. You could do this in a different order. For example, what you could do is you could get this and put this here. It'll do the same thing, all right? Format this. Don't believe me? Let's check it out. I don't always believe myself, so. Oh, yep, it does work. So right here, it's listening to an empty stream. There's nothing there. Now that the next slide you're adding the stream, then it starts going through the list of integers, okay? 
So that's something important that you have to, it doesn't matter when you add the stream overall. Um, again, remember, I'm sorry for being kind of redundant here itself. If I go a.listen and I forgot to instantiate a, well, of course that wouldn't work, right? So you can't just, it, it, again, it gives you more flexibility by going through a stream controller. Let's be a little bit more fancy now. Okay, so we did this. I'm going to delete this or just hide it right now and, and see what we can actually do. What Since I instantiated this, what can I actually do? Well, what I can do is I'm going to hide this one also. So what I'm going to say is let's create a stream controller itself. Let's actually leave this open right here. I'm going to create a stream controller and listen to it. But I'm not going to have a stream. All right, so there's no stream, so it, nothing should be there. Right, nothing is here. But I want to be able to interact and insert a stream when I want to, right? So I, on my phone or tablet or something, I click on a button and add a particular stream. I could put the add stream down here, not up here. Once I on click add one, I'll add the stream right there. What happens? Then it'll add, right? So I can actually do something like that. Now, what would happen if I wanted to add, what's this? So sync.add versus add a stream. We went over streams, stream controller. What is this stream sync? Stream sync basically is, I don't know why they call it sync, um, but it's basically, uh, what's a sync? You, you know, you turn on the faucet and your stuff goes down the sink. I don't know, maybe that's the reason, but basically stream sync is you stuff where you just a sink where you stuff stuff into it's kind of like a hole you just throw stuff into it and when you need it you pull it back out all right so whether you put a stream into it or a future into it whatever you put it in there it's an abstraction and then you can actually deal with the object of the sink in and of itself okay so again it gives you a little bit more flexibility but it with stream in and of itself what you could do is sc.addStream right? But what happens if for some reason you want to actually have another abstraction on top of it? I don't exactly know why you would do that. Like what are the circumstances? But there must be a reason why you want to add a sync object instead of directly adding it to the SC object. Again, it's the same concept of instead of dealing directly with the stream, you deal with the stream controller. So what we would do is sc.sync, which is the same thing, which is add. You can add stream, add add error, add stream, so you can do any of those things. But what happens is with add versus add stream, add stream, of course, is you're adding a stream, add, you're adding an event, and it's usually text right inside of here. So if I'm gonna go ahead and do this, I've got nothing, I'm still listening right here, but I'm going to add text. So I'm gonna add two, and it says I added something. So the stream is going on, and I could keep adding something onto it. So now you could see why this is text and this is a stream. So that's why I had to make this dynamic. This could have been the stream controller within it could either be text or it could be a stream. I'm, I'm sorry, um, uh, integers, excuse me. So that's why I had to keep it like dynamic. That's the important part of Dart 2.0 being consistent. So if I put int here, it just wouldn't work. Of course, if I put numbers here, Look, if I put 33 or something like that, I probably could have used int right here now that I think about it. Yep, okay, so, so that'll do it. So I could always add, add two, it'll be a number. I could hit add one and it'll go start counting, okay? Couple of more things. Um, once you start listening to a stream and the stream is going on, you can't add things on top of it, okay? So, for example, now that I have this, how can I just insert a 33 inside of here somewhere? If I click it, it'll say, cannot add event while uh, adding a stream. So, in other words, if a stream is actively moving, you cannot just add another stream in, uh, into, a str um, into another stream. So, in other words, Automatically, you cannot just automatically add one stream while another stream is going on. Now, here, when we added the sync add, the number right here, right? We added it, 
it's done. It's one time event. Whereas the stream is ongoing by definition. Now, if the stream was temporary and it ended, so let's see, add stream, let's add this one right here. So numbers, I'm gonna directly instantiate that right there. Numbers, it only goes to 10. So if I added stream here, let's see what that would actually do. It would probably finish counting to 10, right? Nothing, finish counting to then 10, and now it's done. And now can I add something else? Yeah, why not? And then I could finish count to 10 all over again, right? Because it's not actively listen, it not actively streaming at the time. The stream was done and it's over. Now it's open to a new stream to add on top of it. All right, so we have to keep that in mind. What is this? So I did that with on click add to, and you can always add an error into it. it that's mostly for some reason, like for debugging and stuff like that. If you it clicked on submit, it would be uncaught error, oops, right inside here. You could put anything inside of here, actually. Oh, hang on. Let's try that. So click submit. Uncaught error, true. So it'll just put whatever is inside there. Again, anytime you're debugging, you want to put a useful message. Putting 44 in there is really not useful, so don't do that, okay? So, finally, what's this remove? We have an ongoing stream, right? I'm adding streams onto it. I'm adding an event onto it also. So we're adding things. Now, remember, it's still open. The stream, the, the stream controller is still open and open for stream. So it's, it's taking up memory. It's just sitting there, but still taking up memory. So what you want to do is if you hit remove right here, it should close the stream, right? The stream is closed. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The stream controller is closed. The streams are separate, right? So we're, we turn off the tablet. We're not turning off the musician. So we turn off the tablet in my example. Now it's closed. Can you add something? Like, can you add on the stream sync again? Let's try that. You can't because you cannot add an event after closing. How about the other one? You still can't add event. You closed it. It's done. Okay. So we're, let's keep that actually in mind as that's really important to remember. When it's remember to close your stream controllers. And if you don't close the stream controllers, it will be open to all sorts of problems. But once you close it, you're all done. All right, so I hope that was helpful here. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh, by the way, um, one other thing. If you do, hang on a second. Let's just add this to A one more time. Remember, you can't close it again while it's actively going. This is only when the stream is done. There are, we'll go through that in the future, but let's see here. You add this, it's going to be counting. Now you can't just close it. All right, that would be a pause. You can't close it because you can't introduce a new stream, which is a new event, while you're actively streaming. So keep in mind that's what close does. Only when it's inactive, that's when you can add the close, when you can close the stream itself. Okay? So I hope that was helpful. Let's keep going on through the rest of the streams. Thanks.